Hi everybody, today Phone Arena is having a look at the Samsung 723. It's um, the fourth body phone from Samsung to be announced and the second to hit the markets after the original wave. Of course this one has uh, much lower specifications than the first one with uh, Samsung's own mobile operating system. Uh, this here is a 3.2 inch LCD capacitive touchscreen with 240 by 400 pixels of resolution. Uh, which is pretty low for today's standard white QBG resolution. Under the screen we have three navigational buttons. The middle one is the menu key and then the end key serves as a back button. What Samsung deemed will be interesting here is the leather cover for the screen which is permanently attached here at the bottom. It's solidly attached uh, but nevertheless it's quite uncomfortable to be honest when you're speaking with a Samsung 723 you have to hold it like that and even if you want to just check the time you have to flip it open uh, for anything you want to see on the screen and when you type it's also uncomfortable but uh, one thing that's good about it is when you place it with the screen down you're not worried that the screen is gonna scratch if it's uh, some rough and even surface other than that, the phone is very solidly built. The back cover here is entirely made of aluminum and the back hosts a 5 megapixel camera with the LED flash and the speaker grill. On the top we have the micro USB port with a sliding cover as uh, is a tradition for Samsung's phones lately and the standard audio jack. On the right we have the lock and lock and the power button as well as the camera shutter key. On the left, the only thing we have is the volume rocker. Of course, besides the leather cover, the interesting thing with the Samsung 723 is uh, how Bada will behave with these lower specifications in terms of processing power and in this uh, regular LCD screen with uh, wide QVJ resolution. So let's go ahead and examine the interface of the Samsung 723. The TouchWiz 3.0 interface uh, looks quite different than on the original Wave. Um, thanks of course to the fact that uh, this is not a Super AMOLED screen, it's a regular LCD and the resolution is quite low. Uh, but nonetheless all the elements uh, are present. The home screens you can uh, change with swiping of your finger and populate them with uh, different widgets. We have uh, a bit limited choice here in terms of widgets. Do clock, wallpaper, birthday, email, sync, uh, help, Yahoo search. These are the ones that are left um, and not placed on home screens. From the ones already here, we have the Google widget search, maps, mail, which actually takes you to the uh, mobile version of Gmail, but is now, which uh, allows you to take a look at what's going on with your favorite contacts, even their Facebook updates, the calendar widget and feeds and updates which uh, shows you uh, the happenings on Twitter, Facebook or MySpace. The typical touch with uh, dock in the bottom of the home screen is present here. This time we have three shortcuts, the keypad which uh, is pretty plain but it um, allows you access to all your contact. You can search for them and uh, to your last calls locked as well as the favorites and you can shoot the message straight from here then you have your contacts of course which are, are split in groups favorite contacts and um, actually you can add contacts from your accounts unfortunately you can't add your gmail contacts for some reason which you could do in the samsung wave here um, get friends button gets you people you know from uh, your work microsoft exchange email or your friends from facebook myspace or twitter and uh, they get integrated with uh, the contacts you have on your phone your text messages uh, appear in threaded view in the samsung wave 723 uh, we don't have uh, anything set up here but uh, they appear in the usual cartoon balloons type of conversation and um, the interesting thing uh, as far as text messaging goes is that you can actually search for your messages which uh, 
Not every phone is offering, of course, out of the box. One of the most used functions on the smartphones nowadays, of course, is uh, the ability to check email. And since this mobile operating system is uh, with an own email client, let's have a look at uh, how email looks. You can have a view to your outbox, send messages, inbox, etc. If you had to choose one thing to work on your smartphone, it's probably uh, would be the browser. And that Samsung's Dolphin 2.0 browser. Let's try and load our heavy homepage. It's uh, minimalistic it's with a good interface. We've already loaded our page, so it's uh, it was cached and it seems like it loaded quickly but uh, actually takes a while and you can see for yourself that uh, while kinetic scrolling is smooth on this resolution things don't look quite well multi-touch works smooth double tap to zoom the other not very pleasant feature of the browser except uh, that it doesn't look uh, very good at this resolution is the fact that uh, sometimes it doesn't show flash videos if you go to youtube you'll be able to watch flash videos but uh, that site is optimized for mobile if uh, we enter a regular news article here with uh, a video embedded in it the video doesn't show so there's still uh, a lot of work to be done on Samsung's Dolphin browser until uh, it gets up there with the best. Uh, but other than that, in terms of uh, rendering and text reflow, the browser is uh, doing a good job with uh, this hardware. We have no complaints in that respect. We have Samsung Social Hub, which uh, when you set it up with different accounts, let's say Facebook and Twitter are added here as well, you can compose one message and it lets you um, shoot it with whatever means you choose uh, in terms of accounts here. And that's a feature that uh, Samsung has on all of its uh, recent smartphones. Smart Search lets you look uh, on the internet or in your phone. Productivity applications. Uh, Additionally, the Samsung Wave 723 has uh, tasks, memos for quick notes, calculator. There is no unit converter, unfortunately, for some reason. There was on uh, other Samsung handsets. There are basic editing functionalities for both pictures and video. For example, uh, you can add effects to the photo, filter style warp, partial blur, let's say, rotate, resize, crop, insert text, clip art, similar thing you can uh, do to your videos. Let's try and find one that will actually work. Now oh, this uh, is too large. Let's try and edit it. Now it still gives us unsupported resolution. But you see you can add uh, background music, uh, probably mix still photos and video, which is a very good functionality to have out of the box. We have Samsung's own Facebook client for Bada takes a while to load it has some trouble here working over Wi-Fi so we won't be having a look at it now a Twitter account there is a YouTube client which actually takes you to the mobile version of uh, YouTube your navigation options are very important it has uh, a GPS chip inside but the phone 
has only a few uh, programs you can choose from. This Samsung LBS is provided, uh, is based on Route 66. software and you have to buy an additional license if you want to use your GPS offline. There's a dedicated video player. Let's find a resolution that will work. I'll go all the way down to 240 by 400. This one works but it's pretty low. 220 by 176 let's see something a bit up 320 by 240 this one works as well okay you have the five channel surround sound here that uh, Samsung is putting in most of its smartphones lately. It's only in headset mode, but it's a nice addition nonetheless. Let's uh, try the screen zone resolution. For some reason, it says it's unsupported, so. Everything below the screen's resolution would go, but nothing above it, unfortunately. Well, what's a look at a mobile phone operating system without having a look at the application store? Samsung Apps. Let's see what it has in store for us with the Wave 723. What's hot? No updates of our current applications. What's new? Associated Press application, some Java games, dictionary, nothing really interesting. Let's see which applications occupy the top spots in popularity. Tetris, Associated Press Mobile. Nothing really exciting. That's the free apps. What about the paid ones? World Radio. Well, now we know Samsung Apps for now has nothing really impressive in store for the Wave 723. And the last part of the interface we want to examine on the Wave 723 is the camera applications. The handset takes actually very good pictures with uh, a lot of detail, pictures are sharp with uh, very accurate colors, indoors pictures uh, look good, the flash is strong, so uh, no complaints in that respect. And the interface doesn't look much different than uh, on the Samsung handsets lately. Switch from video mode to camera mode. You have uh, a bunch of preset scenes. Quite rich actually. Continuous shooting mode, panorama, face smile detection. As far as the video goes, you can set up the resolution. Maximum is 320 by 240. Pretty low. It's not uh, high definition, but uh, the video itself is pretty smooth and with uh, good detail and accurate colors, as are the pictures. You can choose where to store your videos. Uh, the handset comes with only 90 megabytes of internal memory, so you'd want to add a memory card if you want to shoot a lot of uh, video with this one. Oh, and all the usual good, uh, very comfortable Samsung camera interface. Here is how the landscape keyboard looks like. Um, the keys are well spaced out if you are typing with uh, 
one finger it would be even better because uh, when you hold the phone in your hands and you try to type with your both thumbs you're actually obstructed by this uh, leather cover for the screen makes typing pretty uncomfortable and uh, pretty slow so we'd rather go without it to be honest in conclusion we would say that we find the samsung wave 723 quite attractive in terms of uh, design uh, but if uh, we wanted a flip phone we'll get a flip phone we don't really need this leather cover uh, to hang down here when we're talking on the phone or when we just want to check uh, the time for example other than that it's a pretty solid phone designed great made of aluminum it takes uh, very good pictures indoors and outdoors and as far as the battery operating system goes it offers everything that the big players um, do right out of the box um, it has some neat tricks like this notification bar here which uh, you can toggle connectivity and profile options uh, on and off from here uh, which we found pretty useful um, besides if um, we wait probably a year or so the Samsung apps uh, application store will be populated much more and uh, with much more useful applications paid or free uh, there's definitely potential in Bada and uh, the Samsung Wave 723 is one of its uh, good representatives in the mid-range market. This was a video review of the Samsung Wave 723 from Phone Arena. For more details you can visit us at phonearena.com.